Well, good morning if you're with me. It's a very chilly morning in Devon and um, it's made me think about doing a snow scene. <laughs> so for this uh, little demo on lockdown two, here we go again folks. Oh, Robin's just arrived in the garden. Oh, it definitely is thinking of winter and Christmas. So I thought we'd do a little winter scene. It's a bit inspired by the colours of this photograph that I purloined from the internet many years ago. Uh, it's just the colours. Uh, I've then done uh, my own sort of version of, but I think I might have jumped on a little bit early, but um, we'll get going in a moment. Uh, just sort of in front of me, I've got the colours that I'm going to use. So it's French ultramarine, burnt sienna, a little raw sienna, a touch of green gold and a tiny wee touch of uh, opera rose as well. And um, yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do in just a moment. Now this is going to be a very quick little demo. You can probably see that it's a tiny wee pad. Um, <laughs> the idea is to do sort of like a half an hour quick painting and we'll see how that pans out. <laughs> but anyway, so here we go. Good morning folks, those of you who have joined me and thank you so much for joining me. Let's all stick together and see how we get through this lockdown number two. <laughs> Here we go then. Right, um, hopefully you can see that I've done a little bit of sketching. The idea is a couple of trees in the distance and a, and a path and a bit of a winter scene. So what I've done is I've mixed up into this radial palette ultramarine, burnt sienna and a little bit of raw sienna. And in here I've taken a brush full of that mix and then I've added some green gold and this will be for the the trees here and there just had a bit of warmth and this one good old plastic meat trays that's the color I've mixed for the sky which is ultramarine and a little bit of uh, burnt sienna a tiny wee bit raw sienna and a tiny touch of opera rose but it's a lighter lighter color again okay, in the corners just ultramarine and burnt sienna so without further ado let's crack on so thinking of a winter scene um, Using Saunders Waterford uh, gummed pad, not surface and traditional white. And I'm going to, just with clean water and my usual sable size 14, I'm going to put some water on the sky and a little bit around here. I'm going to have these, this is going to be a bank that's got some colour in it. So very sort of traditional. Right, straight away into this background, I'm going to drop the tiniest little bit of uh, raw sienna, but I truly want it just to be the tiniest bit. I'm actually dabbing some off on my table in case you can't see. <laughs> I want this to be a, just a bit of a warmth in the background, possibly too much, but I don't want it just to be a cold, completely cold painting. There we are. Just pop a little bit in here. Dabbing some of that off, bring some down there. And softening that little area there just so that it doesn't have any hard edges because that's where the sky is going to be and bring this one over I love the colors that are splitting in here but I don't want it splitting so I'm giving it a little bit of a stir I don't want very much on here so I'm going to take it steady using the side of my brush just gonna see that's quite a lot isn't it quite powerful taking some off using water I'm going to take that across. The idea is to create a, a very atmospheric winter scene. And as I say, using the side of my brush, bring that over there. So where's over there? Just over there, look. <laughs> right, that's quite enough. And whilst I've got the colour on my brush, this one does, this brush does give a fairly decent point, but you can see it's rather loaded with pigment. What I want to do is, right at this very early stage, is I want to just suggest some of these areas where there's some um, you know, snow bank as such on the side of the path. I want to go into there, but I'm going to use this little one. I, do you know, I always forget I've got this. It's called an Extended Point Series 46 from Rosemary & Co. A delightful little thing. If I can get up there, the camera can grab it. Delightful little brush. Um, it holds, because it's got more bristle here it holds this amount you know more pig pigment there and then goes down to nothing so I can draw with it which is great so there we go just do a few little marks going here and there it's like my signature isn't it doing these wonderful little 
twiddly little bits all over the place and even into here at this early stage. So I say this is going to be a half an hour paint in <laughs> painting. <laughs> so it just to show that it's amazing what you can achieve in a very short space of time. Popping my brushes down and the usual thing, doing a little bit of a clean up around these edges because it's amazing what you can achieve in a very short space of time. It's looking very wintry already, which is kind of what I was hoping. Oh, look, I've got spatters already. Shall I leave those? Yeah, let's leave those. What I want to do before I go very much further is allow this area just to dry a little bit because I want to add some suggestion of distant. Um, hedges or trees. So I'm going to try a little bit. I've got a tiny little bit on this brush. Let's see if they, these hedgerows or distant trees. There we go. See how, isn't that lovely the way that blooms up? I would so love working wet into wet. It's just magical in my book. So I'm just literally touching the paper and allowing the pigment to have fun and meander. So I'm going to do a couple of lines there. Maybe one or two over here. Maybe we'll go a bit more old and mad. Have a bigger tree over there. Bear in mind, it's so these are now conifers, folks. <laughs> I'm just thinking, it's winter, so there's no leaves on the trees. <laughs> there we go. Isn't it fun? I do enjoy this. Haven't done this in ages. It's so nice to be back. Life has been somewhat busy. Um, I'm going to see how that diffuses, and whilst that is doing its thing, I'm going to come over here and just add the odd little bit of extra strength here and there. It's just nice to have variation in tone. But the usual thing, don't get carried away, which is so easy to do. It's too early, right, clean that brush. So anybody wanting their Christmas card, <laughs> this, this is the way to go. But they're looking all right, I'm quite pleased with those. Now in here is where I wanted to have the trees growing. So they're growing in a bank and that's, so it's obviously got the shadow and I just want to dab out a little bit with my tissue that's where the trees are going to come into the to the bank so I made it just a little bit lighter can't go anywhere near that just for a minute I've managed to dab into there I think with a winter scene it's more what you don't put in than what you do put in and I think that's rather wonderful I'm going to put across here just the suggestion that there's some shadows or something going on just a few bits here and there using my lovely flat brush that i've had for donkey's years i'm going to lift some of that out have some melted snow as well as some um shadows maybe that's a bit too hard there we go just some it adds direction so we're going to have a vertical with the trees and these trees and that leading into it, so then we've got some coming across. And then whilst that's damp, I'm going to lift a little area out there. I don't want it too neat and tidy. Yet. <laughs> and possibly there. Oh, dangerous going up there, but there we are. Done it anyway. Okay, whilst I'm waiting for the rest of this to dry, I'm going to have a go at putting some of the tree in. I would like it to be, um, have some strong areas and some lighter areas. I'm stabbing out. I'm trying to do this all in one go rather than, as I say, have to get the hairdryer out. The tr there are going to be two trees, one behind and one in front. So this one can be a little bit diffused. I'm going to pick up some of the green now just to alter the tone a little bit, just to introduce something a little bit more interesting to the composition. So that's going to create the side of that tree. It's got a hint of green. Oh, it looks like a man growing there now. <laughs> his arms, as his head. <laughs> and I found the most amazing pebble on Exmouth Beach. Julie, I saw you were there. Did you? Well, I don't know if you saw my post, but I found this pebble that had a, a smiley face on it. I mean, really, it's amazing. So right now I am painting, I'm going to concentrate a little bit more now, so I may go quietly, just a little bit quieter, because I need to do, look at this, I'm, hold, I'm, I'm drawing, that's it, we're doing branches now, so this is a, 
the skeletal oak tree. I love doing oak trees. They're my favourite. So definitely just using the tip of my brush to extend some of those marks. Allow some of it to diffuse into this sort of damp paper. It's rather nice in this chaotic world actually to just pause a little bit and have time creating. It's all been a bit crazy again, isn't it? Hey ho, we'll all get through it. A bit more down there. Loving that dark against the lighter tone, that's really working for me. I'm going to have to let that dry, <coughs> excuse me, dabbing a little bit of the pigment off. So I want to have, as I say, a skeletal as possible oak trees. I think they're quite young oak trees by the look of things. <laughs> Not terribly old. <laughs> Actually, there's possibly enough. As you can see, it's got um, ivy growing all over it, doesn't it? I'm going to pop a little bit over here as well. Just the tiniest bit. I'll say this, this is the distant tree. And that one is going to be the one that's going to be in the foreground. So I'll just pop a bit there. Whilst I've got this colour on my brush I'm going to add a little hint here and there because rather than just having the warmer colour just in that one spot I want to extend it in a few places so just adding a little bit of green not too much of the fur you know far distance because that brings it forward obviously the warmer colours do that but whilst I'm brush on my brush I'm going to have a little bit of fun dotting and dashing and so on which is my favourite thing after all said and done it's interesting as you, get, you find yourself making the same sort of marks in your work and I'm going to be very bold. <gasps> Hold your breath, hopefully we don't ooh, we'll get one or two going over here. That's a pretty little thing, isn't it? Even though I say so myself, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> right, going to have to be a little bit patient now. Hello, I can see people are here. Um, I'll try and <laughs> try and keep going though, because if I get distracted now, I'm going to be all over the place. I rather like those dots. So when we come to finish, I'll um, do some more spattering to come down there. Um, if anybody's missed the beginning, I'll be sharing this video into the into the group and probably editing it a little bit and putting it onto my YouTube channel. Um, so there'll be plenty of time to, to catch up and I'll tell you, talk you through the paints and all that sort of thing again. Um, so impatient, I want to get that bit done. I have no idea how long we've been going, but look how much we've done already. We, me. <laughs> I'm here on my own, folks, honest. <laughs> right, so I kind of want to do that one a little bit. Let's make a bit more of a top to that tree. Be so careful because it does bloom and just leave that for a minute. I'm going to use this tissue just to dab a little bit more. So I want to get on and do the, the next tree. She's going in, she's going in, folks. Look out. <laughs> and she amuses herself no end. Right, the next tree, which is going to be the, the one coming forward. So it has to be stronger in colour. So let's see how this works out. And... Uh, just as I go right so just I'm building it up by dabbing the pigment onto the paper and allowing it to sit there I'm going to try and stay well away from these marks oh I've just realized I need to do one other thing because I want a branch going across I'm just going to dab a little area here it might be too late Ethel but let's have a look that's lifted it out a bit good so I want to have a, a tree a um, branch going across there and I'll stay away from that edge quite a bit if I can. Um, just dabbing as you can see and letting the pigment release. So I'm creating the trunk of the more foreground tree and you see how it's, it's having fun and disappearing over there. So I'll just take some of that. Just never worry about it. Just dab it out very carefully and gently and keep going. But that tells me that side's still too wet. So stay away if you can. I'm going to add, uh, I'm picking up just a little bit more of the green gold, which is this fantastic green gold by Daniel Smith, which is divine. Um, and it's really quite vibrant. But um, 
I just like a little bit extra brightness over this side. Right, I'm trying to think about my over my jar slightly. Bring my tree trunk up this way. There we are. Actually, it's getting a little bit too green now. So going back into the dark colour to tone it down a bit. Um, I don't mind southern green actually. It's quite jolly, isn't it, to have a little bit of warmth as such to the um, painting. Oh look, I just love doing the branch out. I've done this in ages. This is so much fun. reminding myself <laughs> right I've got to remember that my tree I don't even see there's a pencil mark there that's supposed to be where it's ending well it's not going to is it <laughs> it seriously is not going to it's going up a bit higher so I'll start doing those branches now that are coming out and I love this time of year actually when the leaves are all coming off the, the trees and get these gorgeous skeletal shapes now that's starting to look a little bit messy so I'm going to get my rigger dampen it slightly and just Mess that up a little. Okay, again, no, never worry. You are, really are in control, honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a rare moment. She went quiet, folks. Goodness. It's because it's so much fun. I'm just, you know, building it up. But it, I think it's so lovely that you can do so much in such a sort of short space of time. I'm going to do the dot dot dash now. So you might have the odd leaf still available on the, or hanging on, clinging on. Make it a bit darker. I'll have to keep adding to the layers as we go. Don't get too big. The branches don't get thicker as they go up, honest. <laughs> like that one, I'm going to have to make that stronger in a moment. Uh, just build it up little bit by little bit. Oh, I've just realised I haven't got my um, headset. I do hope you can hear me, folks. There's also, though, when I'm concentrating, I can get a bit quieter. I keep taking, I don't know if you can see, you probably can, because I've got a towel underneath, I dab my brush off onto the towel, which allows me to have more control about how much pigment I'm releasing. Um, trying to be controlling about it. <laughs> Not quite the control freak, but, oh, this is looking rather pretty, I quite like this. And it's okay to say that as well. So I was in my head thinking, oh, listen to you saying you like your own painting. Well, <laughs> just as well I do, isn't it? <laughs> it's always sort of give yourself a moment and just think, is, am I doing too many br branches? Is it like, is that too thick? Okay, mess it up with your finger. So just self-assess here and there. I'm sitting down actually, so I need to stand up in a moment just to see how it's sort of panning out. Actually, I really love the way this is splitting here. This Daniel Smith paint is divine. Just loading my brush with a bit more. I think I might have, I'm gonna have a branch, I mean, oh, I've drawn it, but as I say, it looks for balance. I think it needs to have a branch coming out here. It's nice to do something a bit traditional now. So here comes the ivy, look. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. I was going to have a branch over here as well, wasn't I? Shall I have one there or not? I'm going to have to, can't I? I've blotted it out. Okay, we'll have something coming out here. Maybe one coming down a bit like that. Not too busy a, an area. Maybe a little bit more here. Right, I'm standing up to assess now, so you might even hear me a bit more clearly. Yeah, I need to go up just a little bit. We've got um, oak trees in the garden, so it's rather nice. I, there, ours have still got loads of leaves on, though, funnily enough. We went up to um, 
Southampton earlier um, last weekend and, and um, the trees have lost their leaves much more. It's weird. Why, why is that? <laughs> I'm not sure there's a reason that I am not aware of. I can see I've got lovely people with me, but if I stop and chat, we won't get painting done. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Thank you so much for being here. It's really lovely to have your company. Um, I'm going to just do a bit of a, a bit of a joining of the colours now into the um, hedgerows or banks or whatever it is I've created. So I'm going to just put a little bit of Ooh, this this brush. I just totally love it now. So this is probably one I'm going to be using all the time. Rosemary Co. Extended Point Series 46. Absolutely gorgeous. You're going to see it all the time now, people. <laughs> I've put a little bit of green up there, so I won't put any more. In fact, I want to take that bit out. And some maybe down here. It's splodged a little bit. Ooh, that was bold, wasn't it? <laughs> but it's worked. Woohoo! Thank goodness for that. And it needs some taking a lot off the brush and just put some sort of splodges and smudges here and there, maybe even over this way. I said um, earlier on, this is really meant to be a very, you know, like half an hour painting. It's just to show what can be done in a very short space of time. I suppose the time um, that you use really is about planning rather than the execution. I'm just softening some of this, as you can see I'm doing with, um, with water because um, some of the marks are looking a little bit heavy. And always remember to clean your edges because that helps you to determine what the actual painting requires. Again, softening these areas. I'm going to say it again, I like this, this is really nice. <laughs> Don't mind some stronger bits as it comes closer to me. <clears throat> but also keep assessing because it's easy to go a bit mad. Very easy. And just overdo it in the blink of an eye. That bit's jumping out at me, it's a little bit strong there. Okay. Oh, I've just read that, Jilly. It's really nice. Thank you. I'm, do you know, I'm really enjoying this. I haven't done um, traditional watercolours in an age. It's, um, it's a treat. It's a delight. I'm almost at the point where I'm kind of fiddling a bit too much, so I might have to step away soon because um, ruination is, is <laughs> around the corner. So, I, I don't know. It feels to me that it needs a bit of green just there, a bit of balance, just required kind of here. So guess what's going to be my Christmas card this year? <laughs> and I really, and whilst that's kind of dry, because that will obviously dry a little bit lighter, I, you know I did these spatters here in unintentionally. I want a little bit here, but I need to protect that. So I'm going to see if I can protect that by folding it stay. Getting this lovely little brush, a little bit of this on this little brush, let's see what happens. Just do, I'm gonna do just some gentle, not too much again, because it can be, you know, you overdo it. And I'm, I'm spattering, holding my hand down like that and firm, really holding the brush quite firmly and tapping quite firmly, you get more directional sort of marks. And it helps to have that sort of lead in. And if there are some like that one that I'm not really liking, or some of these that I can just, alter a little bit. Oh, do you know what I can see? I can see the um, Alwyn Crawshaw. Um, basically anything I learned about watercolours I learned from Alwyn Crawshaw many moons ago with all his videos. See, there you go, videos. Oh, and that's, that looks like Alwyn Crawshaw work, type of work. Oh, I flatter myself. <laughs> I flatter myself, honestly. 
but it does it's it, with the oak tree and what have you absolutely lovely sort of kind of say traditional but nice i just want that to be a bit darker here and possibly there cool can you hear the birds outside there's so many visiting the garden because they're hungry it's lovely Do you know what? I might leave it there. What do you reckon? Um, should I go a bit darker, folks, or not? I'm kind of thinking that edge should be a bit darker. So I'm going to just add, whilst I can, a little bit of extra strength to that side of the tree. I'll read all the comments. I've just glanced up to see if there's comments. So sorry. So if I, don't, if I stop concentrating, we're doomed. We're doomed. And I'm wondering, right, I'm asking. Give me your advice, feet, folks. Should I, should I stop? Should I stop there? Um, this one, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take a photograph of everything and list them in the comments. But this is a Rosemary & Co brush, if I hold it still. Number six or size six. It's called an extra stent. Ex get the words out. Extended point series forty six. Um, it honestly is just gorgeous, and I keep forgetting I've got it. Um, beautiful brush. Right. Shall I leave it? Shall we call that done? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I can see people saying things now. Thank you. Um, want to want to what? You want to trudge in that snow? <laughs> Come with me, we'll put our boots on, let's go, come on. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if it snows on Dartmoor, I'm gonna be gone. In fact, I'm heading to Dartmoor this afternoon for a walk. Just to enjoy the cold air, it's wonderful. Right, folks, I think we're done. Shall I leave it? Somebody give me a thumbs up if they think I should leave it, because I think I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I think it's done. Thank you, Nikki, and thank you, Jane. That's rather lovely of you to say. Thank you so much. So, and thank you. <laughs> yep, that's going to be finished. Do you know I might frame that up? I think I might um, put that one on my website. I think that's a, it's just, it's cute, isn't it? And I rather liked using the portrait, you know, rather than landscape. That makes it slightly um, different. Just need a signature in the snow. <laughs> Eve, I, I'm, that's it. Thank you. I'm going to leave it. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> yeah, signature in the snow down here somewhere, and that's it done. Right, well, folks, I'll put more detailed information when I share it. Um, I'll take a photograph of the colours and the brushes and all links as to where to get stuff. And um, yay, so lovely to be back. <laughs> um, and I'll be in it. But popping in again soon. I'll I'll put the little uh, notice in notification telling you when I'm coming back. Yep. Yeah, I'm going now, have a cup of tea, put the washing on the line and then go into the moors. Thank you so much for your company. <laughs> bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I've just read. Oh, gosh, I would have been happy. Oh, that is lovely. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. I'm going, folks. Bye bye. Bye.